Hi, I'm Ann Lewis and I'm joined by Mac Alexi Cote, Creative Director on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Assassin's Creed Syndicate is the first time we've actually been able to kind of choose between two different characters, Jacob and Evie Fry. What can you tell me about these characters? They each represent a different side of the English persona. So Jacob is really a charismatic brawler. He's going to be the leader of London's criminal underworld. He's going to create a gang that's called the Rooks, and that will be a great tool for the player as he moves through the city. So Evie is Jacob's twin sister. She's a really fun character. She's more stealthy. She's really, really intelligent and witty. And one of the things I really like about our two characters is how they bounce off each other. You said that Jacob is a bit more of a brawler. Can you describe his fighting style? What kinds of tools he uses? So Jacob will fight with brass knuckles. He'll fight with a kukri knife and a sword cane. So he's really about close combat. A kukri knife is pretty uncommon for the locale and time period. Is there a fun story behind that? Well, it's something that comes from the British Empire, from the far ends of the Empire, and it's something that's actually very historically accurate to see in London at the time. So this is the most modern Assassin's Creed yet, and with this modern age comes a lot of technological advancements. How does that affect the way the game plays, um, specifically the addition of vehicles? Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we wanted to do by choosing this setting is really to modernize the Assassin's Creed experience. For example, for the first time in the history of the brand, we'll have a revolver. This is something that was invented during this era and that will transform the gameplay of Assassin's Creed. But you'll have vehicles as well, and that's really transformative for the experience, just because of the way they are intrinsically linked to our three gameplay pillars, which are stealth, navigation, and fight. Our players will be able to jump from one vehicle to another vehicle while it's in movement. You'll be able to hide in those vehicles or to coerce people into the vehicle so you can abduct people in the streets or targets and put them in those vehicles and drive them around the city. You'll be able to fight on top of vehicles. And you mentioned the three pillars. They've obviously had to change a bit as well. Can you tell me about the ways that combat, navigation, and stealth have had to evolve for this iteration? So in terms of navigation, we're really focusing on fluidity of, of movement, of parkour, on making it super accessible for players and making sure that the assassin, the player character, goes where the player intends to and doesn't hang on uh, every object or obstacle. The other thing that we're introducing in terms of navigation is the rope launcher. So the buildings of Victorian London are taller and the streets are wider than any we've featured in the brand before. So again, this is another tool that will allow the player to use a lot of creativity and quickly be able to chase down their targets. In terms of stealth, well, we're getting rid of the hard snap that we add on the cover. So we're moving to a more modern, softer snap. So it feels more natural for our players to transition from stealth to navigation. But we're bringing back the whistle, which I know was one of the fans' favorite features. And we're also giving the players more tools to manipulate their environment, to lay traps for enemies. For example, you'll be able to use your throwing knives to create a distraction and that will attract enemies. And finally, in terms of fight, what we're doing is making sure that the combat is faster. We've cut the latency of the fight in half to make it more responsive for our players as they jump from one target to the other. Well, thank you so much for talking to us, and when's the game coming out? The game is coming out this holiday season on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Awesome. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Join the family, get rewards. Reserve now for exclusive access to the Darwin and Dickens Conspiracy. Available October 23rd.